SHTF prepping and survival is about being prepared for potential disasters or crises, such as natural disasters, pandemics, or societal collapse. The goal of SHTF prepping is to be self-sufficient and able to provide for basic needs such as food, water, shelter, and security in the event of an emergency. So, what exactly should you prep for? The types of disasters and crises that you should prepare for will vary depending on where you live and the specific risks and threats in your area. However, there are several basic components of SHTF prepping that are essential for all preppers. Food and Water Having a reliable source of food and water is one of the most important components of SHTF prepping. This includes stockpiling non-perishable food, such as canned goods, dried goods, and bottled water, as well as having the ability to purify water and grow food. Shelter. A secure place to live is essential in a crisis. This can be a permanent residence, a vacation home, or even a camping or survivalist retreat. A secure location should be easily defensible, have access to resources such as water and food, and be located away from populated areas that could become dangerous in a crisis. Medical supplies. In the event of a disaster or crisis, access to medical care may be limited. It's important to have a well-stocked first aid kit and other essential medical supplies, such as prescription medications, on hand. Tools and equipment. Having the right tools and equipment can be the difference between survival and failure in a crisis. This includes items such as a multi-tool, fire starter, knife, and other survival gear. Communication and navigation. In a crisis, being able to communicate and navigate is essential. This includes having backup power sources, such as solar panels or generators, to keep communication and navigation systems operational in the event of a power outage, as well as having a plan for how to contact family and friends in an emergency. Community. Having a strong community of like-minded individuals who can provide support, resources, and expertise in a crisis is a critical component of SHTF prepping. This can be accomplished through local prepper groups, online forums, or even just through close friends and family members who are also interested in preparedness. In addition to the basic components of SHTF prepping, there are several other things you can do to increase your chances of survival in a crisis. Learning survival skills. Becoming proficient in basic survival skills such as first aid, fire starting, and shelter building can greatly increase your chances of survival in a crisis. Taking classes, attending workshops, and practicing these skills can help you become more confident and competent in a survival situation. Staying informed. Staying informed about current events and potential threats is an important part of SHTF prepping. This includes staying informed about weather patterns, natural disasters, pandemics, and other potential risks. Regularly checking news and weather sources, as well as following emergency management agencies, can help you stay informed and make informed decisions about preparedness. Developing a bug-out plan. A bug-out plan is a plan for leaving your home in the event of a crisis. This can include a designated location to evacuate to, as well as a list of essential items to take with you. It's important to have a plan in place, so that you can quickly and efficiently evacuate if necessary. Building a community. Building a strong community of like-minded individuals who are interested in preparedness is a critical component of SHTF prepping. This can include joining a local prepper group, participating in online forums, or simply spending time with friends and family members who share your interest in preparedness. By working together, you can pool resources and knowledge, and increase your chances of survival in a crisis. Training and practicing. Regularly training and practicing your survival skills and bug out plan is essential to increasing your chances of survival in a crisis. This can include regularly testing your equipment, practicing fire starting and shelter building, and taking regular trips to practice bug out scenarios. SHTF prepping and survival is about being prepared for potential disasters and crises, and having the knowledge, skills, and resources to provide for your basic needs in the event of an emergency. By stockpiling supplies, learning survival skills, building a community, and staying informed, you can increase your chances of survival in a crisis. Remember, being prepared is the best way to ensure your safety and the safety of your loved ones.